Why, let me ask you this, Frank. Why is it that Obama so fundamentally misunderstands radical Islam? I mean, I never thought the president was stupid. Sometimes I'm confused. I don't know whether Obama just has no comprehension of foreign policy, or is it, in some sense, even at a more sinister level, does he not see himself as representing the United States? In other words, he sees radical Islam as some kind of malleable force that he can change, even though all the evidence is to, to the contrary. Maybe we have the wrong assumption. Maybe he's not really representing the United States. I really pose that as a serious question. Well, I would answer it this way. I, I think the president is of the view that Islam not radical Islam, but the authoritative version of Islam, is in fact uh, a legitimate and desirable and, well, laudable uh, enterprise. Uh, and there are many Muslims who, you know, would meet all of those tests. Unfortunately, they don't include, to my way of thinking, the authorities of Islam or those who are following their tenets, uh, the practices dictated by the Quran or the Hadiths, the Sunnah and so on, the, the folks who believe in the traditions and institutions of Islam are, I'm afraid, part of the problem to the extent the president is both admiring of them and enabling of them, I, I think isn't just, uh, you know, again, uh, a, a problem of not understanding what's afoot here. I think it's a deep sympathy for it. And it translates, again, into a, an empowering and emboldening of the jihadists who are our mortal enemies. Make no mistake about it, whether they're using violent techniques or more stealthy ones.